the range of threats that human rights defenders face is is different across the different regions. We see in many countries increased criminalization of human rights defenders, or fabricated prosecutions, court processes, imprisonment of human rights defenders. We also see a pattern of restrictive laws targeting registration for human rights organizations, targeting funding for human rights organizations. We see smear campaigns and defamation campaigns, particularly affecting women human rights defenders and defenders of LGBTI rights. And then we also see an increased number of killings of human rights defenders, an increased use of violence against human rights defenders, particularly those working on land rights, environmental rights, and indigenous people's rights, often in the context of extractive industries or mega projects where they're defending their land and those who are trying to uh, exploit those resources are resorting to violence to get their way. We have government leaders who attack human rights. We live in a world where more and more uh, government leaders are willing to, to overtly attack the very idea of international human rights, uh, and who also defame those uh, who seek to defend human rights. And we need to try and change that. We need political leadership that says that's not acceptable, that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was something that was reaffirmed by all governments. Uh, there are international human rights standards that apply to all governments. And we need to try and start building a more effective system to hold those who violate human rights more to account.